Hello, my forget-me-nots. Sleeping lady here, ASMR. I'm here outside of my car. Outside in my car. In my truck. And I couldn't go into the ER with my husband. He sprained his ankle. We're just checking if it's not um, anything serious. So I decided that I'm going to hop on and I'm going to do a story time. Story time. Story time. Story time. Story time. It's going to be a spooky story time. Scary story time. It's going to be about a scary story. A couple of my encounters. Maybe I'll do... Mm. How many should I do? Maybe just one. I don't know. Let me think about one. Anyways, so this I'm just gonna go right into it. Random. This is gonna be a wild, crazy, crazy, crazy story. Um. Well, I was I think twelve, and I had my cousin with me. Um, Michelle, and I also had. A friend, her name was Jenna. I'm not going to say the last names because let me not just blast them on the internet. Anyways, so I was 12 and we were having a sleepover at my place. And mind you, mind you, uh, mind you, it is a rural village in Alaska. So Alaska... It's a big state, and um, my hometown is called Akajok, 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 Alaska, Akajok, 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 Alaska. So that's my hometown, Akajok, Alaska. A K K I, in abbreviation. So, I was twelve. My my parents, they were at fish camp. They were at fish camp. And when me and my cousin, my friend, we went over to my place, it was locked because my mom had the keys to the door. And if you, it, it, it's a um, secluded village in the Kuskokwim area. And we were, there is, it's like about two miles. One from the end and to the other. Uh, all the way to the airport we call it the old airport now and only little planes are to fly out fly out there and it's a very small village anyways we were at the end my parents had a house way at the end at the end of the village and so my friend and my cousin and I we went and my door was locked. It was night. It was like around 12. It was like around 12. Gonna be 12. My parents weren't home. And it's not really a big deal for um, the village to stay out late. Or their parents to be out late. And whatever. Because, you know, fish camp. And I did, didn't know that my... Um, door was locked but when we did it was got it was um locked so sorry i'm kind of sleepy but anyways it was just as dark out like this it was during the summertime because that's when we do fishing fish camp and back of my house there's a lot of um trees there's a lot of trees back in front of my house at the end of the village and we were in the middle of two houses and the moon was out actually the moon is out today crazy but it was a full moon and we have a lot of superstitions in my tradition my culture but i'm not really in tune with them but then this night it was really no explanation for the sounds because we live far off in the wilderness tundra um the terrain is tundra so moss were like way far out there in alaska in rural alaska 
And there's no explanation for that sound that I will tell you that we heard and I personally saw something that is inexplainable. My cousin remembers hearing it. My friend remember heard it. Um, I never spoke to her for a long time, but my cousin for sure, she still remembers that creepy sound. Creepy, creepy sound. But anyways, we went back of my yard and in back of my yard had an open space with grass and some dirt and my mom put out a rug out there for me to play because I was just a you know 12 year old little girl and I had like a big block of wood for my table me and my friends and my brothers and sisters would like play cooking you know with mud everything every little thing you could think of being a kid love to play in mud love to play cook cooking and so I sat me and my cousin my friend we sat around that rug that was out for me to play not minding the trees and um we had a puppy we had a dog and he was chained up right in the corner of my house and I'm just telling you the details of um how it looked and what the surrounding looked like and and um so we all sat down as little girls would and we were telling stories and we wanted to be funny so we were telling jokes and we were laughing and remember um in our tradition or in our culture in um we the elders that we have to respect the elders and the elders is um, something we have to respect and we have to listen to. So when the elders say we can't be loud or um, we can't make loud noises at night past 12 or else something would possibly come get us or a creature. So I don't know what it's called. Um, I forgot, but it, it has something to do with my language. Uh, I forgot how you pronounce it. Um, you're not able to be loud at night or something will get you basically that what it was and um, or oh I know what it or it said or will nuplik we can't nuplik or I forgot what it was but we can't nuplik in my language that's what it's called nuplik uh, or else something will get us. Anyway, so we were being really loud and we started playing truth or dare. We started playing truth or dare, truth or dare, truth or dare, truth or dare, truth or dare. Truth or dare. Back of my house at night, being really loud where there's a lot of trees and a full moon out with three little girls back of a yard and we started laughing 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 and you know how um if you're laughing you um are uh, telling scary stories for fun so we were like like whispering like little girls would and we we're like oh my gosh did you know that we were like we were looking at each other did you know my, our mom my mom our moms or some i think it was my friend she was like our mom says that Dogs and animals could send spirits. And because my dog was barking at the time, it was bar, 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 like wild. This dog was barking wild and was facing the front of my house into the trees. But we didn't really think nothing of it. We were like, just like trying to be scared of it. And we were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my mom told me that dogs, animals could send spirits. And we were like laughing and we were like, ah! We started getting scared and you know how when you're telling square, scary stories and you think it's funny we're like all huddling together laughing about it <sighs> right after we're being really really loud after we were done being really really loud um we were even yelling at the moon we we're like i dare you to i dare you to um yell at the moon and say i love you moon i love you moon 
So when we got dare to do that, we because we had a stack of cards that um, tells you to do truth or dare. And um, when we choose dare, sometimes we'd have to say, I dare you to yell at the moon from the cards, reading at the cards out loud. And so we'd stand up and yell at the top of our lungs to the full moon and say, I love you, moon. So we were just laughing and laughing the hard as we can. Like, dang, that was pretty loud. And that's when we started getting like scared and all of a sudden the dogs started zoning out and my cousin remembers this I remember it I don't know if my friend does but we heard this unexplainable loud echo sound it was like like a Almost, almost sounding like, um, Freddy Krueger, you know how that echoing sound goes like, but it was just, loud through our ears. I remember we looking at each other, these three little girls were looking at each other, me, my cousin, and my friend. We we covered our ears and we're like, what's that noise? What's that noise? My cousin got up and all of a sudden my um my friend got up and they ran to the next door neighbor's house. And somehow, some way, I got stuck there. I sat there and covered my ears because it was so loud i was like wondering where it is everything went in slow motion my dog started barking silently slow motion and then i seen those girls on my peripheral vision my friend jenna and my cousin michelle she they were running and then all of a sudden time stopped like i could see them running on my peripheral vision but they were walking i mean their their hair was like slow motion and as i looked up there was something, it was black and it was like a dream, like it was blurry, but it wouldn't let me show, see, let me see the whole, like, um, figure. And all of a sudden it went into the sky and it went like this, as if it was water, rippled, went into like a tornado. That was very.